Did you know that in 1952, the great smog in London killed 12,000 people and sickened tens of thousands more? Today, in big cities with a lot of traffic, smog is still a serious problem. And the most logical solution to that problem and to other problems like climate change would be to have less traffic. But that brings us to the question, are you willing to leave your car at home more often? So who is willing to leave his car at home like one or two days in a week? Please raise your hand. And of all those people that now raised their hand who actually did leave his car at home one or two days last week, Okay, well, generally, I think the spirit is willing, but the flesh is sometimes a bit weak. Now, the best alternative to having less traffic is to eliminate the most dangerous components from the exhaust gases before they are emitted to the atmosphere. And probably the most dangerous components are nitrogen oxides or NOx. NOx are formed whenever air is heated to high temperatures. In other words, in every engine from the smallest car to the heaviest truck, regardless of the type of fuel that is being burned. NOx not only contribute to the formation of smog, they are also responsible for the formation of low-level ozone and acid rain. So removing those components will become increasingly important in the future to keep our air breathable. And that's why it's my very good honor and pleasure to present to you today phosphotungstic acid. This molecule, contains a phosphorus atom in yellow in the middle and is surrounded by oxygen atoms in red and tungsten atoms in blue. This molecule is a so-called super acid. So it's a very aggressive molecule, I agree, but uh, the fact that it's so aggressive is actually also a good thing because it is also very aggressive in attacking NOx from all around itself and it can retain those NOx around itself. And I checked the potential of this molecule in the removal of NOx by means of computational chemistry. Using computer codes, I try to model chemical reactions. The aim is to really understand the chemistry that is going on. I would strongly suggest every one of you to try this kind of chemistry at home, as it is completely safe and you only need one formula, the Schrödinger equation. <laughs> and yes, before you ask, Schrödinger is the sadistic guy with a poor cat. Anyway, solving the Schrödinger equation of a system will give you all possible information about that system. But this equation also has its limitations. For starters, due to the high complexity of this equation, only small model systems can be considered. And to give you an idea just how small this model system really is, one teaspoon of this acid would contain up to 3,000 billions of billions of these model systems. Secondly, even for those small systems, giant computers have to be used. And I'm not talking about big la laptops, I'm talking about supercomputers. Luckily, once you have a good model and a supercomputer, you can put the model in the computer and start the simulation. Our simulation showed that at high temperature, this molecule absorbs NOx, while at low temperature, the NOx are again released. And this very interesting and special behavior can now be used in a process in your car. If this is your car, and although I don't have a car, I actually kind of wish it were sometimes, then conventionally air would be sucked into the engine where the combustion takes place, and the hot exhaust gases still containing the NOx would be emitted to the atmosphere. Now, the idea is to install a box in your car, an acid-proof box, but that technology exists, that would retain the NOx. Once that box is full, then the idea is to bring it into contact with the cold incoming air, then the NOx are again released in the engine, and the trick is to use a little less air, and hence a little less oxygen, then the combustion will not only use the oxygen from the air, but also the oxygen that was present in the nitrogen oxides. Note, that no external input whatsoever is needed, this can be integrated in your car without you even noticing it. So here's an idea worth spreading. If you can, please give your car a rest from time to time, but if in the future our spirit is willing but our flesh remains weak, at least know that this super asset can keep our air super clean. Thank you.